Park Lane Worldwide. Welcome to your news at noon, week 46, 10th of November. I'm Tom Judson, your host. A little windy here in Florida and the USA today, but thank goodness for a whole house generator. Here we go. The new holiday lookbook is still all the rage. Shoot your country's QR code to see your version. Big news this week. First, weeks three and four of November, so the next two weeks. 1,500 or more net non, the Kingdom Collection earrings are yours. Of course, these complement the Golden Month Challenge with the Kingdom Necklace and the incredible earrings at five and 10,000. Many of you earn the Kingdom Collection bracelet in the first two weeks of November, so this complements the set. Hey, big new style drop, the Iris honeycomb bracelet this was an award now available in all international markets as a style drop it's available for 60 with a qualifying 40 purchase look what else is available for your customers and hostesses double bonus items with a qualifying order any two items two up to 200 you get for 30 australia that's any any two items for 40. also with a qualifying show double Thank you gifts. That means two thank you gifts for you. And can I talk to everybody who's engaged in our incentive trip to Cabo? There's an amazing incentive the third and the fourth week for you to earn an additional 3,500 points. Works just like it did the first two weeks. Have 2,500 or more in personal sales, net and on, everything counts, and we'll give you a 2,500 point bonus and then have a new recruit who starts and qualifies in week three and four and get another thousand point bonus. This means in addition to the points you get from those sales, you can get an additional 3,500 bonus points towards Cabo. If you're working towards this trip, take advantage of the bonuses and use everything. Like our chameleon bracelet, last week's style drop still available. And the excitement just keeps growing as we lead up to our, our virtual Sparkle United We Grow convention, January 9th through the 12th. All of you who took advantage of the extra week for early registration to get that electric bracelet, congratulations. It's going to be a truly great event, and it's mostly about you. Remember, there are personal sales awards during the contest, the earrings and the necklace. There are top 50 awards, and this designer bracelet for the top 50 absolutely amazing you've got team awards recruiting awards here are your dates great things happening as we lead up to convention you've got the pink power impressions that's extended through the month of november chantilly is your award for two thousand or more in sales in the rich rewards club level two and this month if you rank advanced branch to area area to division stylist to branch you receive the amazing Prism Baby Signature Bracelet, and there are special qualifications this month that will become permanent in our plan in the upcoming month. Cabo is in the last two or three weeks of the contest. We're seeing many people who are right on the edge, ready to qualify. We've got one in the Golden Star today, including a couple from the UK next week who will go up and above for the Dolman Turkey Contest. Most of this new items and the new things we've released is not in your November Style Boss News, but you should have it. We're in November. It's a five-week commission month for Australia and North America, four weeks in the UK. And that makes it time for recognition. We start by going to the Golden Star this week's Cabo Trip winner from Blue Sky Sales in Canada, Pam Waterston. Pam, congratulations. These last three weeks, you may see a number of people popping up in the star as we recognize our trip qualifiers internationally. And we've got a big group this time. And that's because of the great success every week. We recognize our top 10 this week, week number two in November. Took 1,700 in personal volume to get up in the top 10 position. And number one has almost 4,600 this week. Here we go. In the number 10 position from the Park Lane Rebels in Australia, Sales VP Dale McKenzie. Number 9 from Enduring Elegance in Canada and a stylist, Kristen Brunshaw. Number 8 
from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Andrea Willem. Number seven, from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Mylene Arsenault. Number six, from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Shauna Fiddler. Number nine, going down under from the Park Lane Rebels, Wendy Jabney. Number four through one, all from Canada and Enduring Elegance. They had a pre-Black Friday sale this past weekend and incredible numbers. Exciting to see their success. Here we go. Number four from Enduring Elegance in Canada, Stacy Allen. And Stacy is now up over $2,500. At $3,000, number three from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Jessica Moho. Number two, at over $3,200 from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Megan Dwyer. And number one this week at $4,555. Congratulations, sales VP from Canada and Enduring Elegance, Cindy Caverley. Congratulations, Cindy. And all of our top 10 great success happening, especially with all the new promotional announcements. Hey, that takes us to our one minute training. As we announced last week, we're doing a three week series on sharing pays that sharing really is caring. And our three weeks, we're gonna talk about the ABCs of recruiting. And this week we talk about the A. Um, this is information that I learned very early in my career. These are pictures of my wife, 1980, my wife and I, 1986, when we started. That's at a convention and then the cover of our, the Worldwide Magazine for that company in 1989. And I learned these secrets early and they have certainly served me well. And had great success with others as they've replicated it. The A, our first week this week, is for attitude. And attitudes truly are contagious. You know, there are four things you do that grow your business. The first is booking. And booking is a skill. It can be taught. You learn it. Second is show planning, hostess coaching. And that's a discipline. We teach ourselves to do that. The third, what we're talking about today is recruiting. And recruiting is a feeling. When you're excited and you have the right attitude, you recruit. And you know this is true. You know it's not a skill. Because brand new stylists all the time will recruit. And fourth is promoting. And promoting is a passion. When you're all in, that's really when you are sharing promoting. We're talking about recruiting today. And change your thinking to get over recruiting fears. Now, are you afraid of recruiting? Well, Statistics tell us that 95% of people in our business, indirect sales, are afraid of recruiting. And what are they afraid of? They're afraid that people will think you're pushy, that you don't like your no, that people won't like you, that you don't know enough about the business, that you're afraid your new people won't succeed, or you won't find the right people, or you'll saturate the market. There are all kinds of fears we have, and we know this, we, we know this instinctively, but what you learn is that we customize our recruiting message. The attitude we have about recruiting is that it's not something we do to people, it's something we do for people. And we find out how we can help them, that's how we do it for them, by really customizing the message about recruiting. And there are really five steps of a winning recruiting conversation. It starts with a conversation. You have to connect with them, you have to ask questions to determine their needs. And there are four common questions we'll talk about in our podcast. We handle objections based on those questions and we close. Close is really important. And it actually is the C in AVC. We're gonna have a whole podcast and training on closing. If you would like to hear more about this topic, this one minute training will be followed up with a podcast. It will be broadcast on the Tom Park Lane page on Facebook. If you're not a friend and like that page, please do it, Tom Park Lane. Also, that Tom Park Lane is my YouTube channel, my Twitter handle, and my Instagram handle, and you can follow it. We'll post the podcast on step one, A is for attitude, uh, later today. Thanks for watching this week's News at Noon.